uh, after running these motors for a few months I found that um, this one was suffering from severe corrosion causing overheating um, this was all the crap that came out of the engine I found that the inner lining of the block the entire water jacket actually separated from the cylinder and it was causing the motor to overheat sporadically it would run fine and overheat and it, the entire inside of the block is actually cracked and that's uh, this one it's a 5689 which is the old 1986 block i recently purchased this block which is a late model uh, 61t which i think is a um 1993 to well later model block um, so it could be anywhere into the 2000s they are basically the same but there are differences and i found trying to put it into the housing these bolts on the older one appear to be recessed a bit deeper and these protrude a little bit more and I'm finding that they're actually impacting on the housing so that might need a bit of trimming another difference that I found was the the area where the stator sits this is a smaller diameter compared to this so the stator doesn't go on here as well as the height is around about I would say about I uh, didn't measure it properly but it's about a 3 millimeter height difference between the two motors and the height difference is across all measurements so i'm not sure if my pull start will fit i'll need to check that as well but uh, yeah let's hope all goes well there's another difference the area where my um, coil pack sits differs as well so this might need modification on the new motor at least but it should work in theory I just need to do my homework on this thing and see how it goes because the flywheel does fit everything fits um, the carburetor I'm gonna need to swap these manifolds over because on the new one they've got staggered holes even though they have indentations where the with the old holes would be on the old manifolds but it would be easier just to swap them over because they they do fit um, as well as these brackets all identical and they use the same bottom gasket so these should in theory be a reasonably straightforward swap although it might be a headache I purchased this block for relatively cheap um, the person that sold it to me said there was new rings fitted and uh, new seals but I'm not sure I couldn't get an explanation as to what its original problem was but I checked it and I found it is a bit of inflow so I'm not sure if this is going to be a major issue or not as you can hear a bit of movement on there where's my old motor nothing and my old motor ran very well except for the, the overheating issue so let's hope that this is not going to require more work so i'm trying to do this on a tight budget <laughs> 